Well, Gundam Seed fans, it looks like we have an amazing announcement. And this is pretty important. And, well, let me tell you why. So, we just got a Twitter tweet from Gundam Seed, the official page. And it was around 7 o'clock today, so it was like an hour ago. And from here, this is a gift for last visitor. So, as you guys know from my last video, a few videos ago, is that um, Gundam Seed Freedom will be ending this month for its theater re uh, release. And so, they want to give a final gift for everyone who still wants to watch it, I guess. And for this week would be... A special gift uh, postcards. Uh, this will be distributed after uh, after postcards, just you know, depicting what happens next in this work. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're basically getting spoilers of what happens after the movie. So this is really cool, and I mean, I think a lot of you guys watched the movie, and you guys probably already know what happens for at this point. And plus, like, um. It kind of left it kind of like just like that, right? And I, I, I mean, overall, I thought that was a great ending, but I think people wanted more, and of course, that's always, always, you know, something that Seed fans always want. And if you watch Seed, Seed Destiny, it kind of ended like that. Like it was kind of like, oh, what happens next, and all that stuff. So this is pretty important. And you know, again, there are three postcards here, and what do they mean? So. I guess we can uh we can just get straight to it. So let's get to it here. So let's start from the you know obviously the one on the far left. This was from the ending from the movie. And if you guys don't know what happened in the movie, uh Kira Lakis. I I don't know who's calling her Lacus and whoever thought that was an, a good idea, but in the dub version Lacus is really stupid. So I don't know who came with that idea that they should call her Lacus because it just sounds ridiculous. And I don't even know why they did that. They should have just kept that Lacus. Like, it just makes so much more sense. So, on this, as you can see, um, if we look closely, right? So, this is the scene where, in the end of the movie, Kira and Lacus basically share a kiss finally. And they're both naked. So, that's pretty much it for that part. And why is that important? Well... Of course, they have clothes on now. So, yeah, they were able to find a pair of clothes uh, after landing. And, of course, you can see their suits there. So, they're obviously on the same island. And if you look at the back, you kind of get an idea of where they are. So, let's zoom in. Let's see what we can find. Actually, I probably need to open this again. So, let's open this link. So, let's look here. Who is in the back? Well... I don't know, <laughs> but just from looking here, it could be their Kira's parents. Um, no, we really don't know who they are, really. I, I actually couldn't get a guess. I thought I could see closely enough, but obviously they seem pretty important. It's obviously probably their house. Could be just random people, but you know, I mean, if we look at, you know, it could be Kira's parents, but I can, I, I can definitely take a look. Let's, we can see what's going on. Well, just from looking here, it really looks like it's the same house. Just based off this, it looks like the same house. So, oops, where's that image? So you can see the house here. It looks very similar to what we see here. Where's the photo? It's not popping. Okay, here we go. So from here, here. Eh, actually, no, it's kind of different. So... I mean, I really don't know at this point. I thought I could try it. <laughs> but I have no idea who they are. I don't know who these people are. I mean, if you guys know, make sure you comment below. And maybe we can find out who it is. Because I don't know who it is. So, anyways. So, that's pretty much happens after the ending. Um, I want to save the middle for last. Because obviously the middle is the best one. But let's look at the one on the right. So, why is this photo important? Well, it looks like Agnes did go back to the ship. And I guess they reconcile, I guess. But it looks like everyone is cheering on Luna. And I don't know why, but it looks like Luna was a pretty important character. Or I guess in the scene. I don't know why. But I guess she did great. I mean, honestly, she did way better for sure. Oh, let me move myself out of the way real quick. Right, I gotta move this over. Let me move out of the way. Boop. Oh, actually, I could have just done this. Well, it's too late now. But 
Anyways, um, let's see. There we go. How do we do this? Boop. Okay, perfect. So from this photo, um, everyone's cheering, and I think that's Agnes' boyfriend. I kind of forgot who that was, but I forgot who this guy was. But he, I thought he's pretty important in the series. Obviously, Hilda in the back, she's just chilling. Um, obviously, congratulating them, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously, everyone really seemed to be happy with Luna. So, but obviously we know Shin was actually the true superstar in the series. All right, to the middle. So, this is a very important scene. This is when, if you remember in the ending, um, obviously Athron and Kai were obviously seeing each other and they pull up their necklaces and they were happy. And obviously that confirmed that they were still together. Um, but... This is the scene where they both see each other finally, and obviously uh, Othron is very, very happy to to see Kage. And if you read the novel, you know he really, really loves her. So this is a really nice confirmation. This makes me happy, for sure. I think a lot of people are very happy with this, because obviously see Destiny uh, did it dirty, and they were not happy with the results. You see the rings shining right there, the necklaces. And of course, you see these two. They're from Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny. If you remember who they are, they seem to be there to congratulate them with the nice photography. And this is actually a nice note because uh, in Seed Destiny, she was doing a lot of photography. So this is kind of cool. She pulled out the camera. Um, obviously, Luna's sister is just chilling. She's kind of like the supporter. And obviously, she's a huge supporter of them. So this is great, too. And uh, I believe in the background, this is the um, this is either... This is probably the Strike Rouge, but... Uh, yeah, no, this is a very, very happy photo. This makes me really happy. And I'm sure a lot of author and Kage fans. And if you don't know, Kage only won best girl in the, uh, I guess, uh, what do you call that? Kind of like voting poll for Gundam Seed. So this is uh, this is great news. This is fantastic. So Kage fans rejoice. We finally got what we wanted. So yeah, anyway, so these are just postcards. So if you're in Japan, you can definitely pick one up. So this is really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, no, this is this is cool. Uh, so a little note there. Uh, anyways, if you can find out who these two are, I have no idea who they are. Make sure you comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much. Let's get on the next video. Peace. Hey, I was watching that.